It was a night of pride for those that attended the fundraising dinner for the CIPIC Pride Digital Cup bid. The bid is for a unified representation in the semi-professional competition by both East and West CIPIC. The bid is gaining momentum with an impressive array of support shown with the turnout yesterday. Business houses, prominent men and women of the CIPIC region and other individuals filled the dining halls at the Gateway Hotel. Members of Parliament from the CIPIC region and also parliamentarians from other provinces and districts as well attended to show their support. Even a board director of the PNG RFL, Graham Osborne, and the chairman, Sandy Saka, attended as well. Also present were former Papua New Guinea Kumuls. Bradley Simon, a former player with the Egmark Rabal Guris, is the project manager for the CIPIC Pride bid and says it is not easy to push for a team in the number one domestic rugby league competition in Papua New Guinea, but he is passionate about his task. A lot of people, plenty, plenty of line, uh, a surprise. Uh, and big plumb mountain to much local up him to actually get a CIPIC team into the Digital Cup. It's not, it's not easy. Uh, but something that, I, that, that I've always believed in is when you're passionate, when you have that passion for something, and you want to do it, you will still do it. The bid may have surfaced into the known last year, but Bradley says behind the scenes, it was hard work and commitment since 2015 after he had left the Gurias. And when Governor asked me for Digital Cup, look, Team, team Color Digital Cup, look, thank you, that's my job. Me back, Sim. I grabbed it with both hands because I've been working for, for this for the last six, six years since 2015. Working behind the scene, there was a lot of leaders watching, plenty of line, oh, look, look. I kept my head down, I kept working. Governor of East Sepik Island, Bird, was impressed with Bradley for his innovation in growing the sport of rugby league in his own district of Maprik and saw the immediate potential of a Sepik team in the Digital Cup. 2016, when I heard that they were playing rugby in Maprik, and I couldn't believe it. So I had to go up and have a look. And I saw these young, young boys. They were all in school, all no shape yet. They were very young. And I was really impressed with the way they played. And I was like, a hey, Mipla Soka Provincia. But to see talent up there in the middle of nowhere, I began to think about what could be possible. With the right people in check, Bird says the younger generation of CIPICs have impressed him that they can help each other to progress and with best practices can yield positive outcomes. The thing I found very encouraging was that the rugby league guys in East CIPIC are actually working with the rugby union guys together. And I thought that was a very important message to our young people that we should find ways to work together. And to see young people doing that really encouraged me. In fact, when they started, I never got involved until today. This was run entirely by young people. 